皆さん、こんにちは。ヒゲさんです。今回は、ナムトミッションと未来の絆の奇跡、分析しましょう。I'm very excited to check out this song because it's been a while since I've heard Man with the Mission. And I don't know, but now I feel a little more closer to Man with the Mission because I finally saw them live. But Mire, I think that's how you say her name. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. But I think I have heard her in some other songs. Probably was in a different kind of anime opening. But I know this one is for the Kimetsu no Yaiba anime. I'm not too sure. I haven't seen the anime before. But I'm very intrigued to see how this is gonna go. So, Ikimashou, let's go. I'm really liking the traditional Japanese ambience. That's such a nice flute. <laughs> oh, yeah, now here we go. Okay, sounds like we're starting out with a bit of double time, I believe, with the drums, but I really like the whole introduction there. Really kind of nice way to really set the mood of the song. I'm very interested to hear two vocalists. All right. Oh, I really like the kind of crescendo vocals that he's doing. Oh, okay, and now we're bringing in the grunge guitar. Okay, let's take a little bit because there's a lot going on in this intro. I really like the whole kind of crescendo style that the vocalist from Ramp the Mission is doing. But one thing I thought that was very interesting is that when he was singing, the song took back a more kind of softer ambience. But then when Mira started singing, we really brought in the heavy guitars and the heavier ambience. And I thought that was a very cool kind of twist there because I would expect the vocalist for Man with the Mission to have the more heavier kind of feeling and maybe Mira have the more softer part. But I really like the direction they're going with. So here we are with that kind of chill ambience. Oh no, they're both singing now at the same time. Yeah, really nice synchrony that they did there. Ooh, okay. All right, really like in the chorus. It's very open. I really like how the verse had a more softer ambience at the beginning, and then we got heavy. And all the chorus is just kind of exploding. But I really like how the pre chorus was introduced. They both were singing in synchrony together, but they were singing kind of very chill and then gradually building into the chorus. Okay, so they're both gonna sing the chorus then. Oh, I think she's using the same vocal effects as the lead singer. Okay, we're going back for the double time drums. Okay, that was really nice. I really like what they did there with the final bit of the chorus. Everything went silent and then they just went ahead and sang the final bit together. That was a really nice little bit that they put there. We heard a little guitar riff there as well. Going with those palm mutes. Okay, so now we are changing it. Wait. I'm hearing, oh, I hear the turntables now. Okay, that was, okay. Now we gotta stop here with the vocals. That very ah kind of sound. Really like the change in her vocals. But I like how they're switching over now. Now we have Mire doing the softer parts and then the vocalist for Ramit the Mission doing the heavier parts. But I'm really enjoying the direction where the song is going. Okay, we exploded into the chorus. We like the ambience guitar in the back as well. Ooh, heard some harmonics now as well. She's really bringing in the melodies in the chorus as well. Ooh, we really like the kind of ambience now in the back. Yeah, I think the way that they're doing the interlude is fantastic, really creating a nice kind of ambience. But in the back, they're using some backy vocals to kind of imitate a choir like setting. They're going back to the traditional Japan. 
Oh wait, okay, no wait. Here's the tremolo picking. Okay. All right, really nice way to introduce maybe to the final chorus, bringing back the traditional Japanese ambience from the beginning part of the song into the final chorus. But I really like how they did the tremolo picking as well to lead into the final chorus. But they're starting the final chorus in a more kind of chill setting as well, which is a lot that they're doing, but with the most keenness. Here you go. Really enjoy the grungy guitars. Ooh, a little bit of a guitar rev there. Yeah. All right, here we go. Here, uh, give me a big chorus. All right, we're going with the drum fills. Right, what's coming up next? I feel something big is coming. Bring in the guitar riffs then. Yeah. I forgot to mention I really like the video setting as well. Okay, wait. Okay. That was a really interesting way to end the song. It sounded as if they were building into something else, but they just kind of ended the song. Which sometimes I like when songs end like that, but sometimes I don't because it makes me want to listen more. But in this case, I feel like I want to listen more, but <laughs> but I absolutely love the song. It's so nice to hear another Man With The Mission collaboration. After I heard the Hotei collaboration with Man With The Mission, I was like, man, that was such an amazing performance. I wonder what else they can do. And then with this one as well, I really enjoyed Mira's performance with them. She had such a melodic vocal style that really fit well with the vocalist uh, Man With The Mission. And I like how she also used the effects that he used in her vocal style. Of course, I don't know if she uses that vocal style in her own music, but I really like the use of that in the song. But I really enjoyed the whole aesthetics of the song, especially in the verses where we started with a more kind of calmer setting and then heavier. And then in the second verse, they swap. So I thought that was a really nice kind of way to change up the formation of the song and give each vocalist a chance to shine in those respective parts. So here are with the lyrics to Kizuna no Kiseki. And after looking at the lyrics, I think that the lyrics are talking about overcoming a challenge of some sort. I'm sorry, I haven't seen the show, so I don't exactly know what's going on. But I think that's probably what the song is talking about. But overall, I think the song is talking about overcoming something and getting stronger to overcome that quarrel that's happening in the story. Overall, totemo kakui kyoku to mashita. Absolutely love the melodies. Melody totemo saiko to mashita. It was so catchy. The guitars were so grungy during the heavy parts. We had some riffs as well. The drum fills, the double time, everything just... The, the, the whole cohesiveness of the vocals as well. I really enjoy how they sang in specific parts, particularly in the verses, and then they swap to give each other a kind of chance to shine in the heavier parts and the softer parts. I really like how they did that in terms of the structure of the song, but everything in here was fantastic. I'm going to